what is the noble truth of suffering? In Pasamu, Dhamma Chaka Posek Bodhana Sauta, the wheel, Dhamma wheel turning in, turning in motion Sauta. Buddha says, Sankhe Dina Vinchu Bhadana Khanda Dhoka, in bridge, by clinging aggregates of Dhoka Sauta, the noble truth of suffering. What are by clinging aggregates? The clinging aggregate of materiality, the clinging aggregate of feeling, the clinging aggregate of perception, the clinging aggregate of formations, and the clinging aggregate of consciousness. These are five clinging aggregates. The clinging aggregate of materiality is materiality, Rupa. The clinging aggregate of feeling, perception, formations and consciousness are mentality aggregates. They are called mentality nama. So, five clinging aggregates and nama rupa, mentality and materiality are same meaning. What is rupa? What is nama? What is materiality? What is mentality? Vipassana, the meaning of Vipassana is investigating our body and mind. Our body is composed with subatomic small particles called kalapas. What are kalapas? Maybe they translate very closely subatomic particles. These clubbers are not ultimate materiality. This is the smallest group of materiality. Many Westerners, they don't want to accept clubbers. Their reason is, Buddha never teach and so does about clubbers. I want to ask you one question. There are two words. United Kingdom. This is one word. England, this is another word. These two words have same meaning or different meaning. Sorry, what was the word? United Kingdom. United Kingdom. This and is number one. Yes. Number two is England. <laughs> United Kingdom is <laughs> UK. Do you understand? Hmm. Yeah, it yes. has same meaning. The same meaning. In the same way, Maharam Loa Dat Sutta, Dadu Vibhanga Sutta, and Abhidhamma Dadu Vibhanga. Buddha says six element meditation. What are six element meditation? Number one, art element. Number two, water element. Number three, fire element. Number four, wind element. Number five, space element, Akasa Tati. Number six, Vinyana element, consciousness element. Among six elements, number five is Akasa Tati, space element. What is space element? After four elements, Akwata Paya and Wit, both are teach space element. According to Abhidhamma, Ad, Vata, Paya, and Wind, these are four elements. They are great Mahabuddha, great elements. After teaching these four elements, Buddha again teach Akasa Dhatu, space element. What is the meaning? The meaning is all elements are primary elements. And they are all together in the Mahat Sangani and in the Buddha Mahabhata teach 28 types of rupa, 28 types of materiality. After teaching four elements, these primary elements, 
Then they are uh, to import tyrant weighted materialities. Tyrant weighted materialities in Bali are called Upadharupa. Among tyrant weighted materialities, both are teach only one, Akasa Tattoo, space element. Space element is one of the 24 tyrant weighted materialities. What is space? Kalabandra Rupa. Kalabandra Paricheta Rupa. This is the definition of the space element. What is the meaning? There are Kalabas, <coughs> subatomic particles. Kalabandra means borderline of these Kalabas. Borderline of these Kalabas are called space elements. Although Buddha does not say Kalapa, but he teaches space element. The meaning of space element is you must try to see the borderline of Kalapas. Buddha does not teach directly by name Kalapa, but he teaches space element. Space, the meaning of space element is the borderline of space between Kalapas. So, today I want to explain a little bit more. Hmm? If you want to see this space for the line of Kalabas, how you should practice? You must practice four elements meditation. But you should remember, United Kingdom and England, they have the same meaning. So, you must practice four elements meditation if you want to see this space element. What are four elements? Earth element, water element, fire element, and wind element. What is earth element? According to the Mount Singhani, there are six characteristics in earth element. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, and lightness. So these are earth element. There are two characteristics in water element, flowing and cohesion. There are two characteristics in fire element, heat and coldness. There are also two characteristics in wind element, pushing and supporting. So in meditation, I want to practice these four elements meditation, one must discern this altogether 12 characteristics. I will repeat again. Hardness, roughness, heaviness. Softness, smoothness, lightness. Flowing, cohesion. Heat and coldness. Supporting and pushing. Altogether, there are 12 characteristics. So these 12 characteristics you must try to discern throughout your body from head to foot. If you can discern this well characteristic from head to foot very, very quickly, then you must try to overview this well characteristic. While overviewing the whole body, if you see this well characteristic very, very quickly, then you can discern four groups. Seeing hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, and lightness. You must pay attention, this is art element. Seeing flowing and cohesion. You must pay attention, these are water element. Seeing heat and coldness. You must pay attention, these are fire element. Seeing pushing and Sabote, sabote and poche. You should pay attention, these are weight elements. You must concentrate on these four elements object. If you can concentrate more than one hour every second, then very soon you will see your whole body become transparent body. You can see the whole body begin transparent like ice block. Why this body began transparent? 
According to Buddha's teaching, there are five transparent rupas, pasada rupas. Eye transparency, ear transparency, nose transparency, tongue transparency, body transparency. So, eye transparency is in your eye. Ear transparency is inside your ear. Nose transparency is inside your nose. Tongue transparency is inside your tongue. But body transparency is throughout your whole body. Everywhere if you touch, you can feel touching sensation. If you feel touching sensation everywhere, everywhere there is body transparency. When they are called transparency. Yaka di pincha vida, ruba di na gahana bawena, ruba di na gahana bichya bawena, ada sa talang wiyak wai pasana ta pasada ruba. This is the definition given in Wisodi Maga, a part of purification. But I will explain the meaning. They are quite transparent rubas, materialities. I will repeat again. Okay? Eye transparency, ear transparency, nose transparency, tongue transparency, and body transparency. Eye transparency is the base for eye consciousness, which sees color. Ear transparency is the base for ear consciousness, which hear sound. Nose transparency is the base or nose consciousness, which pre-smile. Tongue transparency is the base for tongue consciousness, which pre the taste. Body transparency is the base for body consciousness, which pre tangible object. So they are base cause. They are base cause means rest for respective consciousness. If there is no eye, no eye transparency, eye consciousness cannot rise. If there is eye transparency, other than only eye consciousness can rise. In the same way, if there is ear transparency, ear consciousness can rise to be the ear transparency. Other than only one can hear some. In the same way, if there is nose transparency, then nose consciousness can rise to be their own nose transparency. And then the nose transparency can feel smell. If there is tongue transparency, this is the base for tongue consciousness. Tongue consciousness rise to be their own tongue base. Tongue consciousness feels the taste. If there is body transparency, body consciousness rise to be the own body transparency. Body, body consciousness can feel tangible object. So if there is no eye transparency, eye consciousness cannot rise. If eye consciousness cannot rise, then one cannot see color. In the same way, other transparencies are also usual and understand in the same way. My meaning is here, they are transparent like mirror, so they are called transparent rupas. If you practice four elements meditation systematically, when your concentration deep becomes deep enough, then you can see this transparent body throughout your body because Throughout your body, everywhere there is body transparency. You can see transparent body like ice block because you cannot see space element. If you do not see space element, you cannot break down the competence. If you cannot break down the competence, you cannot see Kalapa. At that time, Buddha teach to see space. For example, here you may see this is one hand. 
But if you carefully observe, you can see small holes, frontis holes, body hairs are coming out. At that day, when you see the whole body become transparent like ice block, at that day, you must focus to see space element, Akasa Tati. If a meditator already a day up to Jhana stage, at that day, before they are practicing four elements meditation, every sitting they should re-establish they are put jhana concentration. What is the reason? Put jhana, especially Anabana put jhana or white casino put jhana. That put jhana produces a strong, powerful, brilliant light. With the assistance of that put jhana's light, if you try to penetrate four elements, you can easily understand four elements meditation. When you practice body means meditation systematically, you, you can see this transparent body like ice clock. Again, you must try to discern four elements in that ice clock. You must concentrate on that four elements object. That concentrated mind on the four elements object also produces a strong, powerful light. That light is called the light of wisdom. With the assistance of the light of wisdom, if you penetrate to see space element, other than you can see space. As soon as you see space, then you can see clubhouse. United Kingdom in England, same meaning. <laughs> uh, UK England, so if you see clubhouse, again you must get some four elements in each clubhouse. If you see four elements in each clubhouse, this is the last stage of Samatha. Last stage of Samatha as well as the beginning stage of Vipassana. Because of this reason, this four elements meditation is both sides, Samatha and Vipassana. If you get the four elements in each particular, each Sankalapa, then you should continue to the same. Color, odor, flavor, nutritive, acid, light fragility, transparency, etc. You can easily paint this and this derivative materialities. Odor, dish, agasa, tattoo, space element. For clear understanding of these derivative materialities. So in some clubs, there are eight types of materiality. I only calculate, eh? such as Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence. In some clubs, there are nine types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, and light faculty. In some clubs, there are ten types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, light faculty, and eye transparency. In the same way, you should understand ear transparency, nose transparency, tongue transparency, and body transparency. In some clubs, there are in the same way, ten types of materiality, but they are not transparent. They are opaque clubs. There are two important materialities: self-determining materiality and heart base. Heart base is main base for my consciousness. That heart base rise to be the own inside your heart. There is blood. To be the own that blood, this heart base rise. Another one is sustainability materiality. This clover also spread throughout the body. Because of this reason, if you see one person, you can easily, easily distinguish this is man, this is woman. So they, this sustainability materiality or septic clover, huh? this clover also spread throughout the body everywhere. So all together, there are di different types of derivative materialities. If you can 
analyze these calabas in this way other than only you can understand ultimate materiality. But nowadays there are many scientists. They do not understand about these calabas completely. What is the reason? In their laboratory, they can test only temperature bone materiality. According to Buddha's teaching, this group, if we divide these groups, there are four groups. Number one is Kama bone materiality. Number two is mind bone materiality. Number three is temperature bone materiality. Number four is nutrient bone materiality. Karma is connected with previous karma, no present karma. Present karma cannot produce present karma bone materiality. Present karma is, if there is any future existence, this is the cause for future material, future fat aggregates only. So, past karma produce present karma or materiality. Because of this reason, Buddha teach second noble truth, the noble truth of the origin of suffering, Samuri and Sita. So, to understand this is karma or materiality, we must try to discern five past causes. But these five parts causes I will explain later. So temporarily you should accept here eye transparency. This eye transparency rise and say I decade clap. So that I take clamp, body take clamp, ear take clamp, nose take clamp, tongue take clamp, suck take clamp, heart take clamp, these clambas are produced by previous karma. Every consciousness, which rise to be the own heart based, can produce my bone materiality. So if you want to understand this is my bone materiality, number one, you must discern my consciousness which rise to be the own your heart based. So without understanding heart based, Without understanding my consciousness which arises to be the own heart place, you cannot discern my own materiality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please try to see. Oh, Penny? Stretching. Which produce this penny? Which produce this stretching? You are mine. That mind is rise to be the own your heart place. That mind produce uncountable mind bone clapper. These clappers spread throughout the body. Up to this end, they also spread. So, if you analyze these clappers, in each clapper there are eight types of materiality. I will explain, repeat again. Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive assets. Among these eight, there is wet element. That wet element again produces bodily intimation. That bodily intimation produces new calabas to rise different new new plates. Because of this bodily intimation, new new calabas always rising in passing way. The new calabas they cannot rise same place, in the same place. They rise in different place. That different place rising is, you may see this is Bende Sajay. But if you see Kalabas, you cannot see this Penga. You can see only Kalabas. These Kalabas, there are eight types. Among eight types, there is bodily intimation. That bodily, because of this bodily intimation, the whole all robust, they do not rise in the same place. If you do not see this process, then we can say you do not understand my own materiality. Here is also another consciousness. Here, I consciousness. That I consciousness cannot produce my own materiality. 
In the same way, ear consciousness also cannot produce ear bomb, cannot produce mind bomb materiality. Nose consciousness also cannot produce mind bomb materiality. Tongue consciousness also cannot produce mind bomb materiality. Body consciousness also cannot produce mind bomb materiality. In the same way, you are praying. I want to tell about this. If you can do some four elements in your brain, you can see brain is nothing but a group of clubbers. Among those clubbers, one clubber is body decade clubber. Body. Body decade. Body decade clubber. Body tasca clubber. Body transfer. Body transfer clubber. In that body decade clubber, there is body transparency. The way they own body transparency, Body consciousness can rise. Body consciousness knows only tangible object. Digital object? Tangible. 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 That body consciousness also cannot produce mindful materiality. What is crazy? They are very weak. They have no power to produce mindful materiality. Again, I want to explain another one. That body Transparent, depending on that body transparency in, in your brain, there are eight types of mentality, including body consciousness. Among, I only calculate, I only calculate this thing <laughs> because I have something to tell about yes. this problem. Mm -hmm. Number one, body consciousness. Mm -hmm. Number two, yes. contact. Number three, feeling. Mm -hmm. This is neutral feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, happy feeling or painful feeling. Yes. Then number four is perception. Yes. Number five is volition. Yes. Number six is one pointedness. Number seven. Uh, number seven is life faculty. Mm. Number eight is attention. Yes, so all together, eight types, of, eight types of mentality is on. Among these eight types, there is no wisdom faculty. Mm. Wisdom faculty has to be on your heart based only according to Bhagavad's teaching. But ah. you can discern practically. So they are both inside your brain, there is no wisdom faculty. Yeah, for so we like the bad. Okay. Number two number three is temperature bone materiality. So now we have explained karma bone materiality. Number two, my bone materiality. And now, number three, temperature bone materiality. What is temperature? That fire element is called temperature. That temperature can produce new clappers. For example, in your eye, there is eye target clapper together with eye transparency. If you analyze, there are 10 types of materiality. Among 10 types, there is fire element. That fire element can produce four or five generation new clubbers. This is temperature bomb materiality. In the same way, in your mind bomb clubber, there, if you analyze my, your mind bomb clubber, there are, in each clubber, there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types, there is fire element. That fire element also can produce new generation. But this mind power is very different. Ordinary mind, such as now you are talk, you are listening or I am talking, such type of mind, listening mind, cannot produce many clubbers. They have no much power. That mind can produce two or three generations on. In the same way, in that mind bone, sorry, in that mind bone club, there is fire element. That fire element has no much power. That fire element can produce two or three generations only. 
However, if your mind is like Chana mind or Vipassana mind, that mind has strong power. That mind can produce uncountable millions of kalapas. Now many meditators, they can see like here, 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 etc. But what is that like? This is the light of Western. So how this arises? Hmm? You are discerning your breath or you are concentrating on your breath object or you are concentrating on your nimeta, anamana nimeta. If you can concentrate well and if your concentration also becomes deeper and deeper, and then that concentrated mind associates with wisdom authority. That wisdom power, when this wisdom faculty's power is very strong and powerful, then that mind can produce jhana mind, especially jhana mind, can produce strong powerful lights, not only internally but also externally. For example, if a meditator a day up to fourth jhana, hmm? That fourth jhana is superior mind. That superior mind can produce uncountable mind bone kalapas throughout the body. These kalapas spread throughout the body. Among those, if one analyzes those kalapas, in each kalapa there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is kala. That kala begins luminous and bright. One kalabas kala and another kalabas kala rise very, very closely to each other. Because of this reason, if they cannot break down the compactness, they see light is continuous. Again, if you analyze those kalabas, in each kalabas there are eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is fire element. That fire element is called temperature. That temperature also produces uncountable many, many millions of kalapas. This, again, if you analyze these kalapas, in each kalapa there are also in the same way eight types of materiality. Among eight types there is kala. That kala also luminous and bright. This temperature burn light not only internally but also up to externally spread. So internal light is both two. Two main two types. Two types is mind bone kalabas kala as well as temperature bone kalabas kala. Two types of kalabas kala. But externally there is only temperature bone kalabas kala only. Depending on concentration, wisdom pragality's power is very strong. When concentration is very deep, wisdom faculty power also very great. When wisdom, the power of wisdom faculty is very great, then the light of wisdom is very bright. So, scientists, they do not understand this process of mind bone materiality as well as temperature bone materiality. Kama bone materiality has only internally, not externally. Mind bone materiality also has only internally, not externally. Because of this reason, they do not understand about Kama bone materiality and mind bone materiality. Why they do not rise in external in any way? As soon as they write this club as my bone materiality as well as Kama bone materiality, as soon as they write they pass very, very quickly. There is no time to carry from this body to laboratory. From this body to laboratory. Laboratory? Laboratory. 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 Where they make experiments. Ah, laboratory. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Their yeah. life span is only 70 my moment only. 70? Oh. Very short. Their life, life span is very short. So they cannot carry up to laboratory. 
In the same way, there is also another kalapa. Now every day we are eating. Food is inside our stomach. If a meditator gains the same four elements in that newly eaten food, hmm? undigested food, they can see food is nothing but a group of kalapas. So, if one analyzes these kalapas, in each kalapa there are eight types of hmm? water, fire, wind, color, water, flavor, and nutritive essence. Among these eight, there is new, number eight is nutritive essence. Throughout our body, there are life non clubbers. Life non clubbers. Among those life non clubbers, there is fire element. That fire element is called digestive fire. When the digestive fire support this nutritive essence of newly eaten food, that nutritive essence can produce new generation, new clubbers. But like no neck clubber arise only in this body, in this kind of internal body. So digestive fire is in our body only. In laboratory, there is no digestive fire. <laughs> so because of this reason, they do not understand this nutritive as materiality. They can carry only one piece of flesh to the laboratory. If we, if one meditator can descend this piece, which they carry to laboratory, this piece is a group of clubbers. If one analyzes these clubbers, in each clubber there are eight types of materiality such as earth, water, fire, wind, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence. What is the source? They are, are they permanent? No permanent. <coughs> they are also clubbers as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. But in each club, there is fire element. That fire element can produce new generation, new club. In that new generation, there is also again fire element. That fire element again produces another new generation. So, in any way, well, they can produce for a long time. In the same way. Because you don't need more. So, they are temperature bomb materiality only. They can test in their own laboratory this temperature bomb materiality only. They cannot understand, especially in each club, there are eight types of materiality. Because their investigation is in a different way. My meaning is we Buddhists are very lucky. <laughs> we can, if we practice systematically, we can understand four types of materiality by your own direct knowledge. This is the materiality aggregate only. I cannot explain tonight about mentality. This is the object of vipassana. If you do not understand this materiality by your direct knowledge, if you practice vipassana, your vipassana is just superficial only. Do you want to practice superficial vipassana? Yeah, okay, please try. Okay, let us know. If you have any question. Well, to, to put long story short, he doesn't understand why the object of Vipassana is the first uh, noble truth and second noble truth. This is the teaching of Buddha. Um, he understands there is a four element meditation among the four uh, subjects of Samatha meditation. And also there is a four element meditation Vipassana. So, in the beginning stage of Vipassana. So, what's the difference? The difference is they, if they see clubbers and they, if they can discern four elements, this is last stage of samatha. This is their limitation. 
Then, if they understand four elements in each color, but this is the beginning stage of Vipassana, why? They understand Adivin materiality, this is first stage. First stage of Because four elements meditation Buddha teach two ways, Samatha meditation, as a Samatha meditation, as Vipassana. So both, both sides Buddha teach. Karma-born mentality, or karma-born materiality is true to the body, right? Yes. And mind-born mentality is true to the body, And mind-born mentality causes movement, yeah? Or mind-born materiality. Mind produces mind-born materiality. If you analyze this mind-born materiality, in each club, there, are, there is weight element. That weight element produces bodily intimacy. So then the karma born mentality or karma born materiality when there's bodily like if, because of wind. Yeah, if you analyze this there are four types of materiality. Karma born materiality, mind born materiality, temperature born materiality, nutritive acid born materiality, four, four types. Among four types, one type is mind born materiality. If you analyze this mind-born materiality, in each club there are eight types. Among eight types there is one element. That one element produces bodily intimation. Because of this bodily intimation, four types of robots, mind-born, robot, karma-born, robot, temperature-born, robot, nutrient-born, robot, these all robots, they do not rise in the same place. They rise different places. So the mind-born, a wind produced? To move only, to move other, to rise other different places. So it causes all of, all of them to reappear somewhere? Yes, yes. Even coming? Yes, because of the reason for there, you can come here. <laughs> <laughs> this mind-born, because of mind-born material. No, you can go back. This is mind-born <laughs> material. <laughs> mind material carried all robust. Yeah. Uh, his question is, he heard from a Tibetan uh, monk, Prana. So he's asking, is Prana and Galapa are at the same? I do not understand Tibetan monk. Okay. Tibet, mm. yeah. He's asking if mindfulness is uh, Im important both for Samatha and Vipassana, or is it important for uh, Samatha only? Noble Eightfold Path, among Noble Eightfold Path, there is Samasati. Noble Eightfold Path leading to the complete cessation of suffering. This is for realization of Nibbana. So if you want to practice, Samatha, this noble eightfold path also necessary. If you want to practice Vipassana, this noble eightfold path also necessary. If you want to realize Nibbana, this noble eightfold path also necessary. Among noble eightfold path, Samasati is remembering the meditation object repeatedly again, 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 again. If mindfulness is very strong and powerful, concentration will follow after mindfulness. Because of this reason, while practicing samatha, mindfulness is very important. For example, if you practice anapana, anapana speak meditation, you must always remember your meditation object. What is your meditation object? The breath is your meditation object. But occasionally you remember your meditation object. Sometimes you do not remember your meditation object. Then mindfulness is very weak. If mindfulness is very weak, concentration cannot rise. The process of sati is not the same as the breath. It is not the same as the breath. In the same way, when practicing, we first start. 
Mindfulness is always remember, must remember the vipassana meditation object. What is vipassana meditation object? Our demon materiality, our demon mentality, and their causes. These are the object of vipassana. So, a meditator sometimes he must contemplate our demon materiality as a nature, impermanent, Dukkha, suffering, or another no self. Sometimes he must contemplate our demon mentality as a nature, impermanent, suffering, dukkha, and no self, another. So, Sati always must remember these objects. Sati is at the time like hand. With hand, he put one object on another hand. Then, I is like Vipassana wisdom. I investigate for these things. This is nature, or this is Dukkha, or this is Nata. <laughs> Sati is similar to hand. Yes. Similar to this. Hen. Hen. Sati is similar to eye. Uh, vipassana is uh, similar to eye. So, Sati is 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 similar to eye. So, Sati mindfulness pick up the object of Vipassana. Then, wisdom faculty investigate this object as nature or dhokha or nata. <coughs> Therefore, one practice in Vipassana also mindfulness is very important. Uh, when you see the light, you're not, you, you don't see it with your physical eye but with your eye consciousness. This is especially the object of mind consciousness. But eye consciousness also for some persons you can see, but very rare. Uh, can you explain the process a little more? Oh, which that I, this is which that I, that no, rest no. Really on that face. Uh, well, uh, uh, 지혜의 눈으로 본다고요. 지혜의 눈은 우리 심장도 심장을 이제 일어나는 마음이. Especially when the sane are demon mentality, and then the only many meditators they understand about this, like parali. For example, if they want to discern idol cognitive process, they must discern idol transparency and mind or idol and mind or both together. Then they must pay addition a group of small particles color. When color image both to at the day, I do cognitive process right. At the day, I consciousness also see this color because of the light of wisdom. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Eye consciousness also can see the color. Yes, yes. Maybe color makes a group of small particles color. Yes. That color can see because of the assessment of the light of wisdom. Yes. But this is very rare opportunity. So he is asking you to repeat uh, the, the, your, your explanation. You explained long after what you said. Yes. Maybe the light is can see by eye or by western eye. Mm. So both is possible, but western eye is very important. Western eye can penetrate through nature, such as nature, nature, or dukkha, nature, or another nature. But eye consciousness can see only just color, does not know this is nature, or dukkha, or another. But the eye conscious one meditator, they close eye. But they can see the color. Why? Because of the sense of the light of wisdom. Yes, yes. 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 Yes,
For example, if they want to cancel, I do community process. Yes. They must cancel, I transparency, I do. And they might do. 만약에 우리가 이제 안문 인식 과정을 보려고 하면은 먼저 이눈 투명 요소를 분석하고 그 다음에 마음의 그 심장 토대에서 일어나는 그 심장 토대를 분석해야 됩니다. Then they must cancel a group of color mass color. When color is being put to simultaneously at the day, I know cognitive process rise. At the day, I consciousness rise to be the own, I know. I transparency. That consciousness knows just color only. That I consciousness can see this color because of the light of wisdom. <laughs> If the eyes know the light of which the eye consciousness cannot see. So because of this reason, eye consciousness also can see just color only. But mind which the eye can see are demon, this is a demon materiality, this is a demon mentality, this is nature, this is toka, this is nata, etc. In different ways, many ways they can, they can see. He's wondering, he read uh, the scriptures and he saw that in the first, second and third jhana, Buddha didn't mention the importance of sati. But in the four, only in the fourth jhana, Buddha mentioned that sati is important. All are important. All are important. There are 34 mental formations. These 34 mental formations are working together to produce first jhana, to produce second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana. So, in every jhana there is sati. My point is, this is universal. Universal in every wholesome dhamma, as well as every wholesome resultant dhamma, and every, especially, higher functional consciousness. This is universal. Sati is universal. All are important. 우리가 이제 그 반드시 사티가 같이 온다는 거죠. 아 예. 아 이제 시간이 많이 돼서 법회는 여기서 마치기로 하겠습니다. Okay, sharing money. 이름이 뭐냐? 이름이 뭐냐? 아소야. 我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，我和我住，